All right, my friend Dustin basically begged me, like hardcore begged me today to produce this, or not produce, make this video um, to edit it and put it on my YouTube channel. So therefore, I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna have fun with it. So in this video, it's me and my friend Thomas and we are judging Dustin versus Joseph. They bet, I think 50 bucks on a singles three out of five match and you know, we were the line judges. We may have been, you know, enjoying ourselves a little too much while we line judge. But anyway, let's introduce our two athletes today playing. We have Dustin Herner. Well, we'll go into him later, he's boring. Uh, starting off, we have Joseph Salinas, my former coworker, a great tennis player, a beautiful man, no homo. Um, but uh, yeah, good looking dude. He can even pull off a cowboy hat sometimes. You know, unfortunately ladies, he is taken. Um, yeah, he's got a lovely girlfriend, um, but yeah, he's a gym rat, pick, oh, a tennis rat, not a pickleball player by any means, but he had a lot of confidence, so he bet Dustin, you know, and we'll go into Dustin's kind of like roster stats here, you know, he's like five foot two, 180 pound, dad bod, I'm just kidding, doing Dustin dirty, but you know, he's he's got a, a certain, you know, charm about him, you know, like the dad bod, maybe the sweater wear at Christmas, who, you know, dates your daughter, but you're afraid. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, let's roll the tape. I'm going to commentate a little on the match. We'll go into some of the drama that occurs, a little bit of rage, and that is it. Back to you at the studio. Wait, I'm kidding. It's just my dirty kitchen. Don't you hate it when, like, girls take selfies and they're, like, trying to look all cute, but they forgot to clean their room in the background? That's what I'm doing with my channel right now. To the pickleball. All right. <laughs> We're good to go. Camera's live. All right. Hey, this is for $1,000. All right, hold on, I gotta get on my side. So, hey, you better rub the ball down. Y'all should bring the bench over. Yeah, you should bring the bench over. All right, so after that glorious intro video, we're about to start at 002. You can see me and Tom are enjoying ourselves here. Opposite side line judge, you know. Oh, same side actually. But you know, we, we brought our uh, liquid courage to watch this Terrible singles match. I'm kidding. So yeah, Joseph over here with all his muscles. Um, you saw in the always flexing versus Dustin, our five two, foot two dad bod pickleball player. So this is a lot of fun, by the way. And Dustin gets the first. I guess not a point, but he holds Joseph from scoring. Now it's zero zero one. Dustin with the illegal spin serve. But this video is actually from last year, so it was legal. Joseph there. He gets back in, but. Isn't able to make the shot because he was worried about kitchen faulting, so he did his little dance on the line, looking silly. And now we're at one, zero, one. Well, I don't even need the third number because it's singles. Um, but yeah, you can see now it's two, zero. And uh, yeah, Dustin's spin serve is causing problems. Joseph is using a hero diadem paddle. Yes, he is not sponsored. He stole this paddle. Well, he borrowed it from my work. It's like a 20 to $30 paddle. It's a piece of crap. But he thought he could win anyway. Dustin's got his carbon paddle over there. A huge advantage. He's up 2-0 here as Joseph tried to drop the ball, which as an ex-tennis player, Joseph's a current tennis player, he should just give up on the drops. He doesn't have it. But that's a good overhead there. Meanwhile, me and Thomas, who... Tom is like an elusive figure. He, uh... He doesn't have a social media presence. Getting a good photo of Tom is like impossible for the channel. Oh, uh, there's Joseph showboating again. Like, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. So basically, I don't have a lot of photos of him because yeah, he doesn't take photos and rarely he's outside of pickleball clothes. And the few photos I do have of him, he won't let me use because they're hilarious. So I think it's 2-1 now. Dustin back on serve, but there's a lot of trash talking in this video and a lot of crappy pickleball play like that shot. Dustin, what are you doing? There's also some quality points in here and that's why we're sharing this video. Joseph with the slice serve, Dustin with a good approach. It looked like he left the line open, but he was able to cover it because Joseph floated that ball. And a quick commercial break. I found an actual photo of Tom, my goodness. 
yeah, he's going to kill me for posting that. But anyway, Dustin back to serve. A missed return. This is the first of three out of five games, by the way. Um, they bet $50, I believe. So there was money on the line. Um, yeah, I don't think the money matters as much as the pride factor and the being able to talk crap to each other afterwards. Wow, Dustin, the whole court was open. But, yeah, they had the most professional line judges in the history of pickleball. I mean, we are well hydrated here, calling lines like pros. Another spin serve goes long for Dustin. And at this point in the game, there's really only been maybe two decent points, and it's been all errors. Another error. I think at this point, they want to make the other player $50 richer. Anyway, this was filmed at my old work on the indoor tennis courts. We actually taped the lines down so you can see the right sideline. We're using the white tennis sideline, the single sideline for the tennis court, to save tape. If you've ever taped a court, it is time-consuming. It's not fun. And, oh, look, there's my first line call. The ball was out. Now, Tom, consistently in these games, was not paying attention and did not know. So later on, it becomes an issue because they want to, like, a call overturn, and Tom has no clue what's going on. There I go, pro level, calling it in. But anyway, if you're still watching this video, like and subscribe. This is definitely more of the silly contact content um not a lot of coaching or any wow swing batter 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 swing and a miss by joseph this is more making fun of my friends but hopefully you get some enjoyment out of it um i'd love it if you subscribe to the channel watch some of my other short videos or you know just any of the pickleball content content you enjoy that ball was out just missing the white sideline they do use timeouts in this game because they wanted to be like an official tournament so i think dustin might call one or joseph soon and when they call a timeout oh, i'm just going to trash talk them maybe use more photos um for instance here's a great photo of joseph coming don't laugh it's your girlfriend's shirt i must confess that used to be my shirt but i got married and my wife maybe get rid of it so only fitting to give it to joseph Oh, it looks like we have a good point here. And another error. I mean, that was a tough ball, but... Oh, look, Tom making a line call. Oh, my. Oh, I should bring up, you know, for any single ladies or men. I'm just kidding. Um, for any single ladies watching, Tom is single. He is waiting on a Pringle. Well, really, a full tube of Pringles because he likes to eat. At my partner. Get in better shape. If he wasn't going to kill me for the photos earlier, now he's going to kill me for that comment. But either way, hopefully all three of these guys, except Dustin, or the other two, I should say Joseph and Tom, never discover this video. Because Dustin legit paid me to make this video. I think he wanted video evidence of him losing. Actually, I'm not going to give away who wins or loses this match. I will be posting all the sets. Probably the other ones won't be as goofy as this one. Oh, look, a lob. That's a great idea. Yeah, give him an overhead. Another great return. That was a good return. That was a good one, too. Probably our first good point so far. Joseph's got to drop that or take it down the line. That floater through the middle. Just That ain't going to do it, bud. Ooh, is that good? Oh, Tom calls it out. There may be some interesting line calls by our referees, but who could blame them? They're working for free. Actually, that's not true. We were working for a six-pack. It's a good volley by Joseph. Good approach. A lot of singles pickleball is a good deep return or keeping the player back and then getting in and angling off that volley. Like that, the depth of the ball, now he has him running, and the hit behind. Stretch him wide, hit to the other side, or hit behind. That's a good point by Dustin. Anyway, 
I should bring up, ladies, Dustin is single. You know, he told me his type once, and I've determined it's any girl under the age of 65 who, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's his type. Moving on from that, another spin served by Dustin. Joseph doesn't have a backhand. Ooh, same volley, same spot. And then there's Joseph probably saying, keep doing that, you idiot. Or that's usually how he sounds when he talks to himself, like basically explaining what we all realized is do the same point that worked last time. Okay, got a little defensive get here. Ooh, I think he kind of no-looked him, but Dustin didn't buy it. Maybe the head fake wasn't as strong as it needed to be on that down-the-line ball. Either way, I don't know what Dust, uh, Joseph is doing, but I just noticed he's constantly, like, blowing on the end of his paddle. Like, I don't know if he's acting like it's a microphone, he's talking into it. Maybe he just... Like, what is he doing? Why are you raising his paddle up every time and putting it out in front of his mouth like it's a mic? And a missed return. That's a freebie. At this point, I've lost the score. So I guess, yeah, it's a lot to a little. Or it's even. Who knows? Who cares? I'm just here to make fun of them. And thank you, right on cue, Joseph, with a brick of an overhead. Right into the net. Are you kidding me? It's a good shot, but then he lost his balance and to go all the way off the court. But he recovered strong, and that was maybe one of Joseph's best points. But did he kitchen fault? He did not. Dustin wanted a freebie, and we didn't reward it to him because we're both doing our jobs as referees, watching the lines like Hawks, completely in our right state of mind. I think I need to make a shirt that says, Hit the freaking ball, Joseph! Because he basically said that to himself every five seconds. Ooh, I like the idea with the angle there, but, you know, just a little bit of a risky shot. No execution, though. Good return, good depth. Ooh, Dustin went for that cross-court drop. You got to make that. Well, this has been ugly, and now we have a timeout. That's how ugly it's been. <laughs> so at this moment, Dustin called a timeout. Um, it's kind of weird. He's up 8-7, but I think he'd been struggling enough. He didn't. Maybe he's just out of shape. Maybe the dad bod's catching up with him. Maybe it wasn't strategic for because he was losing points. Maybe it was because he didn't think he could hang anymore. You know, he was sweating too hard. But let's fill this boring blank court time with me insulting my friends. My friend from college shared this meme once. I don't know, it just it just reminds me of someone. Like, it's just, maybe it's the smile, maybe it's the look, maybe it's just, maybe it's just Dustin. Dang, man. Yeah, that meme makes me think of Dustin. And then, on the other hand, his opponent, Joseph. Well, he's the guy who's forever stuck in college. Yeah, he wears sunglasses indoors. That makes a lot of logical sense. I don't know. But uh, anyway, as they come back from this timeout, Dustin is up 8-7. They probably are all never going to talk to me again after I post this video. I'm kidding. This is all for fun. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please watch the next couple sets I post. They will get a little bit better quality, I promise. This is their first game playing. They didn't really warm up much. Um, you know, their warm-up was just losing to me and Tom in doubles, which, I mean, it's that was light work for me and Tom, obviously. So, we're coming back. Yeah. It's Dustin still up, but it's Joseph's serve. Ladies, if you're interested in Dustin or Tom, please comment. Um, sorry, Joseph is off limits. Anyway, you can drop a like.
um, or your phone number, because let's just put, let's just face it, Dustin and Tom need help. So, but me and Tom are cheersing right now. It is eight seven. Dustin with the now in 2023 illegal serve. Ooh, missing again. I mean, he's maintaining his advantage, but all these opportunities to end this game or take a more than one point lead are just being wasted. And that was a good get. But, ooh, ooh, put me in the game, coach. Look at that snag. You can call me Justin Jefferson or Jamar Chase. When the ref's a better athlete than the two players. That was out. Look at Tom. He has no idea. What a bad ref. What a bad ref. It's a good thing I'm here to save the day. Now we'll let them argue. Well, well, well. I guess we'll lose one apple. Hey, I'm pretty honest. I'm not trying to trust you. I don't know how to This is like an NFL game when they take so long to go through the review. You're just like, can you just keep playing? Ooh, that was good. That's the best backhand of the day. So now, should be at eight all. And another line call question. Okay, correction earlier, I was wrong. It was 8 10. The Joseph was up. And then now it's 9 10. And the first set goes to the ever-flexing Joseph, and he downs the dad bod, or maybe I should just call him the nerd man. I don't know. I'll come up with better nicknames for the next video. Dustin Herner. So, yeah, the tennis player prevails in this one. The lack of experience on the pickleball court did not hurt him, and you hear me explaining to Tom how to be a line judge. And maybe we'll figure it out. Maybe we won't. Watch the next video. Over now.